Hi and welcome back on the channel of HFV. Now, as some of you know, I'm quite into Swedish football because of its supporter culture. So today I'm going to be back in Sweden. Visited all the three big Stockholm clubs so far. Four clubs from Gothenburg, also Boros and the Malmö. But today we are going to add a new team to the list. It's Barberg. They are facing IFK Göteborg. Allsvenskan, round 17, IFK the away team on the sixth place and Varberg, the home team, on the 11th place with nine points between the two. No secret that it's the away team we have got to board, which attracts me to this game today because I have some connections there. I have really great experiences. Visited them four times at home. And now, because of visiting the Copenhagen Derby a day before, you can find a link in the description of the vlog. I was thinking about, let's get over to Gothenburg and just visit Blåvitt or EF Göteborg away as well. So our destination today is the city of Varberg and its stadium, mainly Varberg Energi Arena, the venue of today's game. If you're interested in my previous Allsvenskan vlogs, check the Sweden playlist on the channel. And if you're interested in the IFK Gothenburg slash EFK Göteborg vlogs, check the Blowbit playlist. Time to go. We arrived in Varberg, guys, with my dear Blowbit supporter friend. So this must be the main square, at least one of the main squares of Varberg. It's not a that big city. EFK fan here with me. Tell us a bit about the recent victories over Nörköping. So EFK won away and at home as well, 2 0 both games. How does that feel? Yeah, really good. Um, we were better uh, at home. I think we were a little bit lucky in the away game. So it was really nice to get both wins. What do you think about today? What's your score prediction? Um, 5 0 to Gothenburg. Um, I think Sorga scores um, three goals, hat trick. Oh yeah, that's, uh, that's yeah. a Sorga scarf, right? The new signing of EF Coin. Uh. Yeah, exactly. And um, Bjeshmur scores two. He's uh, Sorga is a sub, isn't it? Don't you think he should play more? Um, a lot more, actually. Uh, I think he is getting treats very bad and um, doesn't deserve the amount of t time he gets played. So yeah, I hope he plays a lot more. Interesting arena, countryside vibe, of course. Next to the nature.
this behind me. This is not a fancy fixture at all. So really fair play the FCO fans for organizing this excellent choreo. It looks amazing. something. Here in Varberg. In the first few minutes, blow it for better, 
we had a we had a chance and uh, but after that uh, Varberg were actually stronger on the counters they they kept pushing and uh, but eventually we survived and here in the end Marcus Berg got in the the goal to put us in front after a great cross by uh, Usain Karne so I was actually about to say that uh, every single time I visited Blowitz so far which were four games were uh, we were in front at half time or at least scored a goal uh, and now it was almost a nil nil but eventually it's a one nil so uh, let's carry it on in the second half this is actually a, a pretty interesting stadium it's 97 years old as you saw in the intro it was finished in 1925 so uh, as you can see like wooden uh, stands and uh, pretty interesting away stand there in the background so I haven't seen anything like this before but the main thing that it's a great venue it's, it's countryside vibe it's next to the nature so Let's just carry this on and uh, hoping to see an even stronger blow bit in the second half. Let's begin it. Call for insurance at the end of a great left side to have a COVID. Victory made sure in the 82nd minute played out really well. Open goal 3 0 EF4.
26 minutes, 4 nil for the F4. We see a totally different second half than the first. Didn't see much of fire in the second half. There is not this much between these two teams, but obviously it's so great to see the F4 clinching a this confident away win. Pointed on number 11 is Erik Sorga, the Estonian striker. Let's see this chance in between. So Varberg got almost, Varberg got one almost back, but uh, yeah, so Sorga, the, our interview partner, was talking about before the game, who really doesn't get that much chance as he would have deserved. But now he's on the pitch for the last few minutes. 90 minutes over now. Two minutes at it. After visiting the blue and whites of Gothenburg four times at home, all of them victories, now I got the possibility to visit them away. Marcus Bert twice, Gustav Nullin and Kevin Jakob on the score sheet and it got a really comfortable victory in the end, although it did not look like that uh, if, if you look at the first half. But then after like 60 minutes, Warberg got tired and uh, 
it's a such comfortable victory. I mean, last time you have got to board slash IFK Gothenburg one against this team was in October 2020, a 1 0 victory at home. And uh, last season they lost both games against uh, the green and black team of, uh, of Varberg. It's an excellent experience and it's a unique venue here in Varberg for sure, like totally countryside vibe and 20th century vibe. But I think it's, it's really great to, to visit these kind of games as well. If we go to, to really big stadiums, modern stadiums, obviously the atmosphere is uncomparable, but it's, it's so unique and it's like old school. So it was, it was a perfect experience today. I'll say goodbye now, guys. EF Core on the fifth place after 70 rounds, so that's pretty decent. After two wins against North Hoping, both two nails and this four nail win today. So this means that EF Core went the last three games without conceding any single goal and scoring eight. Yeah, so Copenhagen Derby vlog in the description and recent vlogs like uh, Borussia Dortmund are also on the channel. You can find it on the Germany playlist. I recommend all of them, of course. Uh, and if you're up to it, if you're up for, for more content, join me on Instagram and on Twitter as well. Yeah, guys, goodbye. This outro got a bit long, but we're still here in, in Varberg and uh, just gonna join the celebrations now. So, see you next time. Take care. I was HFV, as always. Bye.